okay, we're in the DC versus Gustafsson fight. Um, DC's, it's pretty early on in the round. Um, DC's pressurizing Gustafsson, um, trying to get his back to the cage so he can shoot in on him. Um, he's throwing a body kick to stop Gustafsson's sideways uh, movement to Gustafsson's right. And now he's going to do um, a Khabib kind of shot where he wanders in and grabs him. Uh, nothing amazingly specific with this shot. Okay, in response, we're going to see Gustafsson try and get the frame of this arm in alongside DC's neck. So really what Gustafsson wants to do is he wants to get this elbow down in front of the shoulder and the forearm into the neck, and that would act as a frame with this being a longer lever and making it more difficult. He could force DC's head away, but sadly Gustafsson doesn't quite make it. Uh, DC goes underneath that frame and grabs the hip and he's also reaching for the second hip. At this point Gustafsson is going to lean forward with a little, little bit of sprawl and he's going to kick his legs um, separate. He can't do a big sprawl because he'll just get knocked over to this side so he's only going to just do enough sprawl in order to allow himself to be driven back to the cage. He has to allow himself to be driven back to the cage. He's doing a good job, he's split his legs. This leg's completely flat against the cage and his hip his right hip is flat against the cage. That means that DC is going to find it very difficult to get his hand between that leg and that cage. Uh, basically because DC's body weight is there. I mean, it's very difficult for him to get his hand in there because he's got his own pressure holding it out. Um, DC's not really doing a lot apart from a lot of pressure into Gustafsson. And his ear is on the hip. Okay, Gustafsson's looking for this overhook. And he's going to use that to try and grab up this... Um, um, as DC works for the double leg and stuff. So we're going to see um, as um, Gustafsson is driven towards the cage, he's going to turn his hips 90 degrees and he's going to lift that underhook. He's also driving down on the opposite wrist, which means that the double leg is not available. And in some ways, he's leaning forward onto this side, and he is kind of offering on this single leg, which is not probably a very good thing to do with uh, DC and DC's camp. If you see Khabib and him, then uh, it's easier to defend, I suppose, than the double leg if he got his hands together. Okay, so he's lifting this, he's holding down that wrist. So what we're going to see is we're going to see DC step into the control zone with his right leg. He's now got his hands together. Um, his head is still being compressed by the chest of Gustafsson. Gustafsson sunk his weight, so it's much more difficult for his weight to be dragged from underneath him. Um, the underhook is work. The overhook is working fantastically, lifting this. Um, I see a difference between DC and Khabib in the grips that they use. DC is holding onto his own wrist here with his um, what hand is it? Left hand and he now forms a bar underneath Gustafsson's leg with the wrist of his left arm. So uh, really for this to be an effective takedown, um, DC now really needs to get his head on the sort of outside and not on the inside of Gustafsson's body. So it's, it's a pretty good battle going on here, but what we're gonna see is we've seen um, DC step into the center of this control zone. He's gonna step up his left leg and then he's going to pivot off that left leg to take, because this is only a really good defense for Gustafsson if he's against the cage. As soon as he's taken off the cage, there's outside reaps here and things like that that would be easy for DC. But as long as his head is buried underneath Gustafsson's chest, it's almost impossible for DC to do any effective. But what he's going to do is he's going to drag those hips off the cage and he's going to lift. Now in the act of lifting, what he's done is created space here to allow him to get his head from underneath the chest of Gustafsson. Gustafsson's actually helping him by dragging this um, underhook, sorry, overhook up his body and forcing down the chest. He's actually straightening up his own body by lifting that long lever. Um, DC's ear now could come out of this. I suppose we could say there would be an outside reap there but we know that Gustafsson would fall against the cage and he would probably use the cage as um, a base so that he wouldn't fall over. So we're gonna see what DC does from here. 
He takes him off the cage. Gustafsson steps his foot back to the cage and then allows himself to be driven against the cage again. This is now much more open. Uh, the chest is not collapsing DC. DC has a very strong power line here. Before, he was too folded over to be able to do anything. He's also slid his hands up closer to the groin of um, Gustafsson. I mean, some people call this a high crotch. I always thought a high crotch was a kind of entry, but um, he's sliding his hands up and he's forming a bar underneath the crotch of Gustafsson. Now, this is a beautiful bit of technique that he uses. He's going to slightly lift again uh, Alexander and he's going to turn his head so that his head goes onto the bicep of this overhook. So this overhook is the thing that's lifting DC and it's, it's the thing that's allowing uh, Gustafsson to keep this centre of balance and the centre of gravity over, over DC. Um, as soon as this overhook is gone, his centre of gravity will go more inertial over his chest. Okay, so you can see that DC drives his head onto the bicep. You can see that he's pushing his head against the bicep and he uses his head to clear that arm. We can't see it very good from there, but you can see he's lifting uh, Gustafsson. He's allowing the underhook to be lifted. And as this arm moves up, it's actually creating space for DC to be able to put his head in that gap, which will completely negate this overhook. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, we see with Khabib him using his head a lot to negate the, the grips and the hands and we see a lot with DC him doing something very similar. So his hand, his head goes on the bicep, he drags uh, Gustafsson so all his balance point now is over a very close point. Now normally what DC would do at this point would he would literally uh, step into the control zone, lift and sweep. All right. He's not going to do that at this point. Um, he would normally do that from having a grip around the knee, but with this deep grip here, he's gonna do something ridiculous, but uh, you can call it what you want, but I'll just talk through it. So we now see DC's got his head on the outside, which means that um, Gustafsson realizes that he doesn't have any use of this anymore. It doesn't work. So I think, I think he's actually reaching for a switch. So I think he's actually thinking of driving this arm down underneath the thigh and bringing his arm out here as in a switch. Or he could be looking for the Kimura grip on here, the double wrist lock, but DC's arm is beautifully tight. If you want to see how this should look when you're on a single leg, look at this. There is no gap, okay? And the wrist is so high now and <laughs> Alexander's limbs are so long that there is no pushing down on this wrist anymore. Okay. Also, if we go back, we can see that DC is going to step this leg into the control zone. So he's going to make a power line right underneath Alexander's body. Now, Alexander's center of gravity is somewhere over here. It's kind of in his upper chest. Okay, so with DC putting his leg under here, his weight as he stands up will draw this hip into him and will allow him on just standing up to be able to lift Gustafsson up into the sky. So you'll see him take the weight back and stand up. And basically that's what lifts Gustafsson into the sky. Now Gustafsson, uh, I call it plank defense. If you make a long pole, yeah, it can be quite hard for a person to pick you up. That's why tossing the caber in um, Scottish Highland Games is so difficult. All right, so where I've got Gustafsson trying to keep, um, I would like to say erect, but that sounds rude. He's trying to keep straight. And we're seeing DC pivot his body from this position, and he's going to rotate his body round to here. Now, as we see the lift, he bounces him into the sky and now he's going to pivot so that he's going to take Gustafsson away from the cage. All right, Gustafsson's in the sky, he's doing okay. What DC is now going to do is he's going to drive this elbow upwards and he's going to drive the other elbow down to the ground. So he's going to do like a, I call it a golf swing. He's going to golf swing 
Gustafsson so that his upper body becomes offset and it starts to fall towards the ground. So his upper body now has become offset. So his center of gravity is over his chest at the moment. Um, he can't, he hasn't got long enough arms to post here. So he's going head first into the ground at the moment. And what we're gonna see DC is just give it a last little boost by lifting his right elbow and dropping his left to get Alexander to land flat on his back. Now the important bit from here as well is if, if you see what DC does, is he doesn't just stand over him and throw him on the floor. He's actually following Gustafsson to the ground so that he has control of Alexander on the ground. Now, um, I don't, there are so many technical things that we could call this. Uh, I'm not gonna name it, but it's an incredible bit of technique and DC seems to be one of the only few guys that seems to be able to do it. He did it with Josh Barnett and he did it with Alexander and it's just beautiful technique okay so there you've got another breakdown of dc um beautiful technique super strong his body awareness his ability to offset absolutely fantastic also his ability to take out options using his head using his body position just absolutely fantastic i mean gustafson actually takes Kami down a couple of times in this fight so he's a really good wrestler he's been wrestling very well so if you can do it, add it to your game. If not, well, you're just a human being. All right, thanks a lot.